Creator Creators, Neve here, and yeah, welcome to another uh, My Favorite Animal series, and this week I am doing Humpback Whales! I love Humpback Whales. Um, yeah, so I don't have this on the easel like I normally do because my easel broke, so I've got to hold this now. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I did with this with uh, color, um, not color pencils, watercolors. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get started on the painting. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, so this is the fourth installment of the My Favorite Animal series, and for these, I'm going to do a piece of artwork for my top 10 favorite animals, starting at number 10. And today is my number six favorite animal, humpback whales. So uh, I will have each of these available on my Etsy shop. Link is in the in the description, and 30% of the costs of the paintings will be donated to the World Wildlife Federation. Uh, if you'd rather have a print, those are also available on my Redbubble, and again, the link is in the description. And actually, for this particular piece, I've decided to gift, the, gift this to someone special in my life. And as such, um, I'll be donating out of pocket the 30% that I would have made if I sold it. So, yeah. So, let's learn about hump humpback whales. <laughs> as, as we know, humpback whales are very large. An adult can reach uh, an average of 60, or 40 to 60 feet in length and weigh up to 44 tons. One of the largest recorded humpback whales reached a whopping 89 feet in length. Um, as is the case with most whale species, females are actually larger than the males. These whales are usually a dark gray color or even a black color with white patches and knob known as tubercles covering their heads. Each of these tubercles uh, contain a stiff hair. It's unclear what they are designed to do, but it's thought that the hairs may be motion detectors. Humpback whales are true global creatures. They migrate the oceans throughout the year, so they are found everywhere. It just depends on the time of year. In the summer, humpbacks are largely found in the Gulf of Alaska and the Gulf of Maine. Um, during the winter, however, humpbacks are in the warm waters close to the equator, like Hawaii, South America, and Africa. An exception to that are the Arabian humpbacks, uh, who spend all year in the Arabian seas. The humpbacks usually don't travel in large groups. They prefer to travel alone, but, with, but when with a group uh, called a pod, it's usually no more than two or three whales. This doesn't mean that they are completely antisocial, though. Humpback whales are actually quite sociable, and uh, observations of them show that they may even form emotional attachments. They communicate with other whales uh, that they may be traveling with, and when uh, young are traveling with their mother, uh, they will often touch fins in what seems to be um, a, an act of endearment, which I find so sweet, personally. <laughs> Um, that leads me to their mating practices and rearing of young. Mating is tough for largely solitary animals like humpback whales. When you're traveling alone most of the time, the opportunity just isn't there, you know. Um, but life uh, finds a way. <laughs> and mating typically occurs in the winter months. A mating session takes less than a minute, and then the female experiences nearly a full year of gestation before her calf is born, which means her births uh, just about, which means she births just about in the same place uh, as the mating occurred. When the calf is born, it is about 30% of the size of its mother. Uh, it can already swim and move on its own, but their first breath is taken with the help of its mother, who nudges the baby up to the surface of the water. Almost all humpback births are singletons, and less than 1% of pregnancies result in twins. It will be another two or three years be the, before a hump, humpback is able to become pregnant again, uh, but that 
first year will be spent re rearing her calf. That's right, mother and baby spend almost a full year together before they part ways. However, even after a calf leaves its mother, it's not fully grown until they reach about 10 years old. Humpbacks can live to be almost 50 years old. Humpbacks are known for their beautiful songs consisting of hums, moans, howls, and cries. But interestingly enough, it's actually only a guy thing. That's right, only the males are the singers. This leads scientists to believe that singing is directly tied to attracting a mate. These songs can last for hours and hours, and amazingly, it's the same song. Observations have noted that the whales in the North Atlantic Atlantic sing one song, while whales in the North Pacific sing another song. And that gradually changes year by year. As far as diet goes, well, a suckling calf can drink almost f uh, about 50 gallons of their mother's milk every day. Holy cow, <laughs> or holy whale. The mother has to eat too in order to provide their young with so much nutritious milk. Humpback whales are baleen whales, which means that instead of teeth, they have what's called baleen plates, um, which are 270 to 400 fringed overlapping plates hanging down from each side of the upper jaw. Most of their diet consists of small fish, krill, and plankton. When they swallow their food, the water is filtered by the baleen plates, and then excess water is expelled through the blowhole while the larger prey uh, are swallowed whole to be digested. Humpback whales aren't just predators though, they are also prey. The biggest threats to humpback whales are orcas and sharks, who are known to go after humpback calves, and humans who, who hunt whales in general. Thankfully, humpback, humpback whale uh, hunting is prohibited by international law, however it doesn't deter everyone, and humpback whales are still killed by poachers. In the 20th century, approximately 95% of all humpback whales were hunted and killed. Uh, it is not just poachers that threaten humpback whales, though. It is also environmental aspects, such as climate change, pollution, and noise pollution, like sonar systems for offshore tr drilling that interferes with the humpback's ability to utilize echolocation. Due to the massive drop in numbers in the 20th century, uh, humpback whales were one of the first animals to be added to the endangered species list in the 1970s. That sort of uh, awareness and conservation effort uh, really helped tremendously, and in the past few years, we've seen a large increase in the humpback whale population, resulting in them being taken off the endangered species list. All right, well, that's all the information on humpback whales I have for you now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I do apologize that there were no videos last week. I wanted to have this one out for you, but I wasn't actually done with it. So, um, I and I'd rather have uh, not have to rush a painting. Um, so, I decided to give myself another week to complete it. Um, I used mostly Daniel Smith watercolors with this, and uh, I also used colored pencil and white gouache for highlights at the end. 
Um, all right, so thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Stay tuned for uh, the number five favorite animal. Later, creators. Bye.